Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of the podcast. I'm super excited to have you here listening today on this new episode. I'm super happy, and I hope you're having a fantastic day because today we're diving into how it is to live abroad in your 20s and what is actually maybe stopping you from starting and what I did and how I felt before I went out and worked abroad. So that is what we're going to go through today in this episode. So you might feel like I did in the beginning. So before I came out and worked abroad, I was actually working a normal job at home and I didn't have a full-time job either. So I was not really happy about my situation actually. And this made me think that, okay, I need something new, something exciting, because I've been through so many different jobs and no one of them fits me. I had a really bad time at home with things we're not going to discuss in this episode, but there was a lot. And so I figured, how can I start working abroad, you know, to have a new start, start a new life, so to say, yeah, the typical And what I did was I googled, how can I work abroad, you know, and I didn't find anything really exciting. It was mostly these online things. Yeah, you name it. And eventually I did find something called tour guiding and holiday rep. And this is how it started then. So I went in here like, oh, okay, this sounds very interesting. And this was uh, in the beginning of the summer. Or this was winter time where I'm applying to get out on the summer. And many of them told me that I need to um, have an education of some sort. I was like, okay, what is this education that they're talking about? And it said like service and co guide school. You need to have been here before you can apply. And there was actually many companies saying this. And I was like, okay, what is this? So I did my little research and I figured out that, oh, okay. So it's actually a school of like intense school for five weeks where you can become a guide. All right. And that is how I ended up by going there. Really good time, really good school. I can absolutely recommend it to anyone that wants to come out and actually learn like everything before you come out as a guide. There is different options to do. You don't have to do it like that, but you can. It's absolutely amazing opportunity for you and absolutely worth if you want to get new friends, new opportunities, new everything, all right? So what happened after that? Well, when I was there, I got someone coming over, which was in fact Tui this time. And well, their presentation did get me very excited. They talked a lot about the future stuff. Everything was like futuristic, digital, and I'm a very digital person. So I could really, what do you mean? What do you say? Relate to their type of job that he had. So I absolutely applied there straight away. And that's how I came in to the job. So that is like the story of very short story of how I came to be a guide. And I hope that you can feel the same that if you are in a situation of you don't know what you want to do or you don't feel at home when you are at home, if you know what I mean. And this is how you can then change it up. It doesn't have to be something with tour guiding. It can be anything. There are so many things. And I actually have an episode out of things that you can do. That was uh, the episode before this one. What you can do to work abroad. And there's 10 different job ideas that you can go through and see which one would fit you the best. Because it doesn't have to be a tour guide. So I totally recommend checking that out for you after this episode. And then I started working here for TUI, and this is my third year right now at the moment of recording the episode. So I've been in the game. I've been an instructor as well for guides or coming guides. So I do have a lot of knowledge about the industry, I would say. And I'm super excited to just continue doing this and helping people to escape from home if they do feel that they need something new in life. 
Before we continue, though, I would say that if you are interested in uh, the tourism industry, I would totally recommend you to join our Facebook community. It is at Ultimate Tour Guide. And here we get you all the information about the episodes, coming episodes, and much, much more. It's really cool if you're there. You can even write things in the comments and just build up the community together because eventually we will have more like webinars where we can then teach you on spot live how you can do it yourself with different job categories. So that is something I'm totally recommended to you and I'm super excited to actually start doing this very, very soon. Now into the next subject of this episode is an experience for life. So working abroad, any type, is like a really good experience. And I can totally tell you that you are not going to regret regret coming out because you're going to have so many things that you're going to learn and you're going to have so many new memories and opportunities coming forward to you, which is one of the best things that I know because I did not expect it to be this big when I actually started. So you can expect life-changing opportunities. That can be anything from other job roles to meeting new people and even start your own thing maybe. Maybe this like just starts a fire in your head like, I wanna do this, all right? And that can be something that is super cool for you how to start with your own thing or there is anything else that you want to do. This is absolutely the thing that woke me up when I started because I knew I wanted to do stuff. And actually, with working abroad, that's how I started like all of this with podcasts and YouTube channels and oh, you name it, even my own video company. So like there is so many things that started this spark inside of me. And I think that can be something that is very valuable for you as well if you start. So what I've been through is pretty cool. I've been through a lot on these three years. Um, Starting out, I started late season. Um, I met a massive amount of amazing people and some of them I actually talk to still because sometimes when you're going off a season some people maybe you don't talk to anymore because it's so far away but some people you just connect so well with so you will always have a really good friendship. After that we or I went to Lanzarote for example that's where we had like the biggest (laughs) sandstorm of that year. It was super interesting to go through that like the whole sky and everything was just sand and orange was really crazy and then a few days later actually when it was over i i forgot that there was so much sand outside so i went out with my socks out on the um like area we had like terrace area and i just walked out there because i was gonna get something and I just realized my socks were like totally orange. <laughs> that That is really, really funny. And then, you know, the pandemic hits as well in this in time. But then now I have went through so many countries in such a short time, I would say by working there. So I actually earned some money while going to these different countries. And then I went to Thailand as well, which was absolutely one of the best ones right now. And obviously Cyprus, I made so many things, videos about Cyprus, and I'm just going to continue with that because it's something I really feel is a super nice destination. I want to teach you guys about this destination as well on other channels, not the podcast. You will experience so many things. You will go through so many experiences and you will have so much value going through working abroad, I would say. And then why why is this so good? Well, for the last thing here is that it's a super good thing for your resume, for example. So if you have been, for example, tour guide, I would say this is one of the best things in your resume because you learn so extremely much. Admin stuff, customer service, sales, 
like you name it. There's so many things that you learn and you become so much better as a person and so much skills that you learn. It's just so much. I'm, I'm using this word a little bit too much right now, but it is actually fantastic, all right? And that is why it's great for your future because you know all this stuff. And then you can use all of these new skills and skill sets and everything in your new job. And by doing so, you can then up, upgrade, so to say, yourself and take higher roles. And you can even be team leader and then managers. And you, you there's like the sky is the limit. All right. As long as you put in the, the, the work, you can then reach the skies. And that is the cool thing with working in companies like this, that you're not going to be only a, a hotel rep for the rest of your life if you don't want to. So you can always come up and upgrade yourself. And if you do finish your life as a, a guide, then you have this, as I say, in your resume. And it's something that is really strong because many people know about this job and they know that it's hard. And that is the coolest thing of them all. I'm actually surprised of how many people I've met in my different careers. And the people I met now at home, around, I'm just speaking to them randomly and they tell me they have been guide once or twice in their life, which is super cool because then you actually see how many people are actually being guides before they do start working in other things. And that is why we have this podcast to interview those people that is either working with it or has worked with anything in the travel industry, which is a really cool point of view for you guys to see what is the possibilities after you've done this job. So I just want to quickly recap. It's a very short episode, but yes, I just want to recap of what we've been talking about today. So we talked about the feelings that you might have now when you're home before you start. And if you are out here already, I'm super happy for you to be listening because I hope it can give you value as well, give you new motivation to just continue with the journey or to start your own own things. And then we also talked about the experiences you might have and the things that you were going to unlock by working abroad. And this also is a good thing to learn and to know that you will expect to get so much value out of working abroad. And then also why it's good for your resume. So we went through why it's good for your resume to become a tour guide or working abroad in general. You will get so much value and that is something that is truly amazing for you. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and yes, please give us a review whenever you can either subscribe or you can actually just by listening here on the podcast to give us a review of what you thought. You can even put comments and I will shout you out in the comments on the next episode when I release one. It really helps building up the community if you do these things. And I'm super interested in knowing what you guys feel about the episodes. And if there are any experiences or anything else you want to hear about, then it's a good time to start commenting on these episodes. So thank you a lot for attending our episode today. And I hope to see you in the next episode. And have a good week. I'll see you very soon again. And always... Stay curious. Thank you.